So today, a small number of passengers stuck in airport lounges across the country looked up at one of those televisions bolted to the ceiling and noticed something weird. Don Lemon, the star of CNN this morning, was not at work. And to be fair, sometimes a vacation is just a vacation, but we can't help notice that Don Lemon's absence comes just a day after he laid bare his utter contempt once again for his co-anchors, Poppy Harlow and Caitlin Collins. Now, the passive aggressive shtick is pretty fine-tuned and also getting kind of obvious. Lamont pretends to attack Republicans, yesterday it was Nikki Haley, as a way of attacking his co-hosts. He thinks he's getting away with it, but yesterday morning he made his disdain a little too obvious. Watch this. I think it's the wrong road to go down. She says people, you know, politicians or something are not in their prime. Nikki Haley isn't in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What are you talking about? Wait. I, that's not according to me. Prime so for what? I, it depends. I mean, it's just like prime. If you look it up, it'll if you look, if you Google when is a woman in her prime, it'll say 20s, 30s, and 40s. I don't necessarily. 40s. Oh, I got another. I'm not saying decade. I agree with that. So I think she has to be careful about saying that well, you know politicians aren't in their I think prime. You need, need to qualify. To are you talking about prime for like childbearing, or are you don't talking don't shoot about the prime for being just president? Say what the facts are. Google it. <laughs> it's, it's always like some super dysfunctional family on that set with the drunk guy, uh, dad, Don Lamont dad. But we want to take it seriously. Don Lamont said, well, he got this from Google. So we went to Google and we typed in an obvious request. Show us the quintessential specimen in his prime. And we're going to tell you what we found. We're not going to hide the results. Full transparency on this show. It did not take us long to come across pictures of Don Lamont himself looking like the international sex symbol he is at the age of 56. Look at this man. Look at those clothes. This is a, is that a cape? No, it's got arms, but it could be a cape. I mean, is that bold? He's a fashion icon. Then we came across these Instagram posts showing Don Lamont on the runway a few weeks ago. We don't want to use the word fabulous, but is there another word to describe it? No, there's not. Ladies and gentlemen, fabulous Don Lamont. It's just so great. And the word sassy does comes to mind, too. In their prime, Don Lamont is in his prime right now. His lived experience is being too sexy. Was this whole segment a roundabout way for Don Lamont to get everyone to Google pictures of Don Lamont? We can't say. But as you can imagine, the morning meeting today at CNN was awkward. CNN forced Mr. Lamont to zoom in the meeting from Miami where he's been frolicking shirtless on the beach, looking very much, not coincidentally, like a man in his prime. And his apology, he read what appeared to be a cliche about women he Googled about three minutes before between Bellini's, here it is, quote, I believe that women of any age can do whatever they set their minds to. And you can just imagine in your mind the ladies of The View holding him at gunpoint. Say it, Don, say it! At any age, an 80-year-old can give birth. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't heartfelt, uh, not reality-based. It was kind of ridiculous. If you're going to grovel, do it. He didn't. And apparently, his co-workers and managers at CNN are mad. We're hoping he comes back. If, if we lose Don Lamont, we've lost a major wellspring of comedy in this country. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.